ओके लेट स्टार्ट विथ प्रॉब्लम सेट ट्वेंटी फाइव यर वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर एंड इन द वीडियो हाउ टू मेजर एन एंगल एंड हाउ टू ड्रॉ एन एंगल यूजिंग अ प्रोट्रैक्टर सो फॉर दिस प्रैक्टिस सेट यू विल बी नीडिंग अ प्रोट्रैक्टर एंड पेंसिल एंड ऑल द राइटिंग पार्ट यू हैव टू डू इन योर टेक्सट बुक इट्स सेल्फ सो बी रेडी विथ योर टेक्सट बुक प्रोट्रैक्टर एंड पेंसिल सो लेट स्टार्ट प्रॉब्लम सेट ट्वेंटी फाइव measure the angles given below and write the measure in the given boxes we have to measure this angle and we have to write their measurement in this boxes so let's start now this pointed part this pointed part we have to keep at the vertex of an angle vertex is formed where two rays intersect and their angle is formed so this pointed part we will keep at the vertex of an angle c now in the base this base is pointing towards the right side so as per the video we saw in on the right side zero is inside so inside measurement we have to consider so let's check yes so the second ray point towards the 40 degree angle so the first angle measures 40 degree this is the degree sign degree you have to put above okay now next next i am going to put over here and the base line this line if you all can see this line this is the base line so this should be overlapping the base line always so like this you should not keep your protractor in this way where the base line is going in some other direction and the base line in the protractor is on is in other direction so the base line of the protractor and the base line of the angle should overlap and this pointed part should be on the vertex so i'm keeping this on the vertex and i'm overlapping on the base line see how i'm overlapping we have to move our protractor accordingly yes now in the base line the base line is pointing towards the left side so on the left side zero is outside so we have to measure the outside we have to consider the outside measurement so here the second ray is pointing towards like it's after 115 if you all can see properly it's after 115 so it's approximately 118 118 or 19 degree now next we can either consider this as a baseline or the upper one the horizontal line as the baseline so i'm going to consider the horizontal line as the baseline again this on the vertex and baseline should overlap Yeah, the baseline is to pointing towards the left. So here on this side, zero is inside. So inside measurement we have to consider. And second line is going towards ninety degree. So see, this is the second line, ninety degree. So third angle measures ninety degree. Last one again. the pointed part on the vertex and baseline we have to overlap and this side the baseline is pointing towards this side and this side r zero is inside so inside this the second ray is between 90 and 100 sorry inside measurement we have to consider so it's between 80 and 90 so if it's between 80 and 90 so it is 85 degree so you all check again it's 85 or 84 degree since i'm using my only one hand you people please measure it very carefully okay 